Oh, man. This next race is why I said I don't think the 3 8 is going to be the biggest track. <laughs> yeah, this thing is definitely four tenths of a mile. Eight sixteenths. So do we need to do anything about that? Uh, we might, but we're not going to do it yet. Okay. We don't want to reinvent the, the wheel. cookie cutter. All right, oh. All right, Jeffrey. This is... We are here for figure eight racing. That's what brought us up here. Yes. Though we also love the local flavor racing, and this might be the local flavor race, Jeffrey. Oh. That Tom. gets us to to really want to come back throughout the season. We're going green next time by with the 15 of Cole Rarden okay. and the 11C of Carson Sundle. I believe it's pronounced Rarden. I heard the announcer say that. Rarden, it is. Yeah. Uh, starting in the third spot, the 8X is Brandon Nordmeyer and the 88K, Travis Conan. Row number three, the 42X of Robert Smith and the 9 of Mike Dare. The seventh starting spot is the 8 of Luke Heddle and the 49 of Calvin Miller. 20 is Ted Blakely, the 42 of Tate in Ireland. 84 is Jason Cui and the 7 of Matt Snyder. Hold on, folks, because here we go. It's the Hornets. 50 lap main event coming up next. Oh, and we're, t oh, we almost turned somebody. I should say not next, later on in the night. But these are the positioning races, meaning they're technically uh, qualifying for their starting spots. These, these cars fly around this racetrack. Oh, Do yeah. not underestimate what these drivers are doing. How they finish in this results in how they're gonna start. Now, Jeffrey, in the schedule on my phone, if you look on the photos, yes, it'll say which cars transfer, I believe. Oh, good. We have a transfer spot. I, I have to dig a in. This is the best battle up front, and this is a battle for fifth. Now watch as they're going to turn left into the X. Now, drive right down the straightaway, and then a little right-hander and a left. I do not, I do not have... Uh, the schedule does not call that out. Okay. But we do have. What? Oh, you have the website, right? Yep. I was just, on there. No, I was just going to say we do have the. Uh, this is a 10 lap positioning race. Right now we got a battle for fifth happening on track. It's the eight machine of Luke Heddle. Working his way around Dare in the number nine. Oh, yeah. Top seven cars, Tommy. Oh, we're pushing. We're pushing wide. <laughs> there will be a last chance qualifying race later on. I love it. All right, let's go back over to here. Your top two down the back straightaway into turn number three of the oval. So, as they run, Cole Reardon in the 15 machine is your leader. With the 11C of Carson Sundholm in second. Third place is the 88K of Travis Conan. The 9 of Mike Dare. The 8 of Brandon Nordmeyer. The 42X of Robert Smith. And the 8 machine of Luke Heddle. Those are your transfers. Everyone else is going to the B main event. Oh. And we got lap traffic. Lap traffic, and that held up the second spot, which is fine. I, I say it's fine, but here's lap traffic for your leader. And that's going to close in second spot. Look at this. Battle for the lead. Six laps in, four laps to go. And Raritan has a lot of company. That seven machine that they lapped is really uh, letting everyone figure out how to go around him. So three laps left, lap seven of ten. And we got a battle for the top two <laughs> positioning yes, we in do. this positioning race. Uh, that's yeah. Here we go, closing in, running a higher line, Tommy. But you do not want to go over that lip, that painted line. You go over that, suddenly you find negative banking, and your car wants to shoot right to the wall. Good stuff out of these top two, Jeffrey. Our transfer spot's heating up, Tommy. The 49 machine is closed into the 8. That is, to make it into the A main event, the 49 is 8th place Calvin Miller. 
Miller needs to get by the A machine in order to make it into the A main and not have to worry about the B main. White flag out, one more to go. It is. So that's happening. Miller looking wide. Watch out for the lap traffic. That's Snyder in the seven. And the white flag is out for your leaders. Here they come, rounding turn three and four of the oval. Cross the line, Raritan. See how, now that's what I've been expecting. Yeah. Now if you go back to the transfer spot, Matt Snyder, the seven machine, slowed down the 49. Yep. He, he gave him some ease of slow. And that is the end of that positioning race. So top seven transfer. And that's it. Well, Tommy, I'm going to trade spots with you. As we get ready for heat, or excuse me, positioning race number two, top seven cars transfer. The rest go to a last chance qualifier. So let's see who we got on this one. The 76 machine in the field is Jamie Corbett. 521 of Mike Jensen. You got the 18 of Cody Hoops. Starting in the fourth position. What numbers on this car? I'll just say 88. Brandon Sager. The 50 machine is Jason Wilson. 55 of Derek Thomas. The 97 machine is Jordan Peterson and the 52X of Parker Banner. 96 in the field is Zane Gladden, the 6 of Kevin Grant, and the 4 machine of Shane Sawin. Well, hello, Mr. Poppy. Pop and Popper. Jalapeno Popper. You're right. You ready for another Hornet race? Top Let's 7 transfer? This. Let's do this. So I this love transfer races. Oh, me too. 10 lap. Top seven transfer. We Here go we green go. through the gears. And across the line, down into turn number one. So far, so clean as they get through turns number one and two. Transfer battle is the car on the bubble, three wide now. The car on the bubble is a black and green, number 55. And Negative bank in contact in front. So the 97 is actually the, the bubble. So Jordan Peter, uh, Peterson, the 97, retro Ivan, the Iron Man Stewart uh, <laughs> paint scheme. He holds the bubble spot. So anybody behind him is outside looking in. As this is the best battle in turn number one between this fourth place positioning. It is a race, but it's more of a race to determine your starting spot for the main and if you're going to be in the main the first go around. Yeah, but it also is for position. So, yeah. oh, I was going to show your battle for the lead, but we're having some contact here. Good stuff here as the number. Lock him up. 88R, Brandon Sager. We do have one car that fell out of this race on lap one. It was the six machine. Brandon Sager moves up into fourth. Battle for the lead out of turn number four of the oval. We might see some bumper action here. The Evergreen Speedway Roval here. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the cup series on this one. I think this would be fun. I'm sure if Jimmy Johns can screw up on the big track, he can probably <laughs> screw up here just as good. Transfer spot. All right, so the four trying to get in. Dario Reich. Is that the name on the four? I'm guessing so. Oh. I mean, I'm probably saying it terrible. But Dario looking to the outside of Jordan Peterson. So 
The four wants in, he's an eighth. He's looking low to the inside of Peterson. Transfer spot battles, lap six of 10, four to go. And Dario will take the spot and take the transfer spot, potentially, as we have four For laps now. to go. Yep. Still a lot going on in front of these drivers. I was gonna say, you see them all racing it out, but over into turn number four is your leaders. And they got their own good battle going here. No, no passing yet. A lot of just hunting. They're trying to figure and size each other up. Mike Jensen in the 521, trying to get the lead over Jamie Corbett. And all right there on the bumper is Jensen. How long do you play the patience game in a positioning race? Well, I guess the thing is, is if the officials are looking for rough driving, technically you're starting on row two. Yeah. So you don't want to screw up and get black In flag. a 50 lap race. Exactly. Oh, oh, lap traffic, the 96 machine. Where are you going, 96? Zane Gladden holding up the leaders a little bit. All right, let's see what happens here. Last lap, final no, time down the back straight away. No pressure for the seventh place runner right now, Derek Thomas, who got by George Oh, Peterson. into the rear bumper. Coming to the line. Went for it. Now let's, uh, you see that the 76 of Corbett takes a win. Now the 97 trying to get by the 55, but trying a little too far back. So the 97 will go through the last chance qualifier race to determine if he is going to be in this main event. Race ain't done yet. No, power, power, power. Jamie Corbett, Mike Jensen, Cody Hoops, top three. 88 R. Brandon Sager, Dario Reich, Jason Wilson. <laughs> I now know why. I was doing the math in my head. I'm like, I thought we were going to start 24 cars in this race. <laughs> well, now I know I didn't realize there was a whole nother group to go. Yeah. So, heck yeah. Folks, there's a lot of these cars. All righty. Have so. we made that clear? So good times here at Evergreen Speedway, Monroe, Washington. If you're ever in the great state of Washington, make your trip to Monroe on a Saturday night like we have. All right. Well, you ready to uh, see these drivers, get to know them? I well, am. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Starting on the pole in this third Hornet positioning race. That is the number 54 machine you're looking at. Driver Brendan Terrio. Pat Folger in the 30 coffee cup can car. <laughs> the 33 of Ryan Hassenfluck. What'd you say? Just careful. be careful how you say that name. Uh, Chris Brandon in the 71X. The 7D of Dawson Cox. All right, this just ain't fair Dang, now. We got a the 19 machine talk. of Jake Grant. The 57 machine of Michaela Peterson. The 83X of Michael Vaughn, 02 of Greg Vaughn, 71 of Jason Holton, and the 10X of Gavin Ballou. You ready? I figured there'd be someone in this, at the beginning of this first uh, couple names, I figured Haywood would show up. Or Johnson. Here we go. Getting ready for it. Green flag is in the air. Here we go. I think. Oh yeah. Tight through here. See how it all shakes out on the first lap. Now these drivers saw the first race, and I imagine the first two races and saw overall was pretty clean. So is this going to be the wild one, Tommy? Oh, I've, are we trying to qualify a race like it's Daytona? Yes, I guess. I guess we'll find out what's the case. 33 machine making some moves, moving up. This looks fun. Ryan Hassenfluck. Jeffrey, you and I have raced these type of cars. Yes. At Arundel Speedway, yep. on a rollable type setup, yep. but the track wasn't as big as this. This looks fun yeah. to go this fast on street tires. I'd be convinced that I'd go flying off of the side of the turn, though. Oh, for sure. I know our equipment. <laughs> now, notice these guys are really utilizing those rear brakes. 
And some of them using the front brakes, the 71 off the racetrack. He went sliding for a while. Uh -uh. There we go. Chris Brandon in that 71. All right, let's talk transfer spots. Right now, the 02 machine has it. It has a bit of a breather. So there's the 02. Vaughn. And when you know, Michael Vaughn is the driver trying to get in. Take your Vaughn out and uh, go get some groceries. <laughs> Three laps in, seven laps to go. So this is the tame of the three, it seems like. Just everybody wait. single file at the moment. It has been tame. Folger goes a little wide in the corner. And look, problems for your leader. I jinxed it. The 54 machine of Brendan Terrio. And now suddenly we have a battle for the lead happening. The 54, Tommy, Brendan Terrio might not wow. even make the main event now and was leading this race having no problems now. Battle side by side for the lead. Best part of waking up right now is Folger. trying to be in the lead. That's Cox taking the lead over Folger. Now the 33, excuse me, 33, moving through of Haas and Fluck. So that puts both Bonds into the main at the moment. It does. So the transfer spot battle gets even less crazy. Oh, 71. Hold on to your hats. We're skipping and scapping. <laughs> oh. oh, now he's just, forget it. Forget about it. The 71 machine of Chris Brannon putting on a show. This is going to be fun, Jeffrey, for this 50 lap main event <laughs> with all the cars on the track. We've only seen like 12 cars on track so far. Oh, these two are having a, a thing. Three laps to go, lap seven of 10. Right now the 57 of Michaela Peterson's like, come on, somebody dump somebody. I just heard Jeremy say Michaela, so it might be Michaela. I don't, I don't trust people named Jeremy. <laughs> Well, here's the top four going through turn number something. And here that comes would, everybody that would, else. Yeah. I loved that Charlotte on the Roval when the drivers were like, well, in turn one, turn two, and then the, the, the uh, whatever, the bus stop on the back straightaway. Like, they, they just totally mix up the corners. Oh, man. Battle for seconds heating up here as white flag is in the air. One lap to go. Dawson Cox is having no problems, but here's a battle for third, and it's Grant going to take it over from the 33 of Hosenflug. And checkered flag for Cox. Folger. All right, so we got Hosenflug. And these two are not going to make it, correct? Into the... Initial. Those two need to have some luck. Better luck next time or in some, the next race. Or some fluck. All right. Starting is anywhere in this race. The 49 machine. That's Calvin Miller. Remember, Calvin just missed getting into the A main yep. event. So we'll start up front. The 97 also. The first car out in his race, Jordan Peterson. Calvin has a very patriotic front bumper, I got to say. Very. Here's a sneak peek on the road course we're doing. For those of you just tuning in. Row number two. Two, 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 two. The 57. Now, how do you say it? Michaela? Michaela? Michaela Peterson? I heard Michaela. Michaela? Michaela Peterson. The 20 of Ted Blakely. The 52 machine on the racetrack is driven by. Oh, that one didn't, didn't register, Tommy. Damn it. <laughs> But the 71, okay. Jason Holton, the 96 of Zane Gladen, the 10 machine, uh, Gavin Ballou, as we have one lap till we go racing. 42 machine on the racetrack is Tate in Ireland. By the way, I believe Tate is doing double duty tonight. Matt All Snyder right. in the 7 and the 54X of Brendan Terriel starting in the, in the back. But that's the car that I think we need to watch because that's the car that was fast, leading at the time fast. where he had an issue. Fast race car. So we'll see. Top three transfer, Jeffrey. Oh, here we go. 
15 laps, top three transfer, hold on to your butts. Green flag. Now this is not the bump to pass, but they're working on bumping to pass right now. Kind of have to at times. Oh, got to get aggressive. This is your last chance to be in the A-Main event. Everyone came here to be in that race. 54, th making it three wide down the back straightaway. Getting past Snyder in the seven. Getting past a lot of people there. Yeah. Well, leading this one, Calvin Miller. Peterson in second, and holding the last transfer spot is Blakely in the 20. Don't look now. Coming into the battle for fifth with Holton is that 54 machine of Terrio. Last transfer spot, 54 is making a move. Coming, coming through the field right now. Might be fast enough to maybe even catch up to the leader. We'll but see. not in the show yet. Ooh, 96 with a good move to get past the 71 machine. And, and Snyder, <laughs> the 7, I think, almost rolled over by spinning out. Oh, man. One car off the track. It's blue. Not the bear. Watching this 54 car. Gets, if 54 gets by the 20, they are in. 20's got to make that car very wide, but Nate, not right there. Opens the door, and Terriel into the A main for now. Now the question is, like you said, can, can that 54 get up to the front? Here's your leader coming across the stripe. Battle through the X of the intersection of the 96, looking to the inside of the 57, running out of room, clips the 57. And a nice save. That was a good recovery there. But the 57 might be on a mission right now to pass another driver cleanly. And did just that. Now, uh, that's Makila Peterson. 54 is moving into the second spot around Jordan Peterson. According to my sheet, those names are spelled differently. Tommy, look up this turn. I, I love this battle, but I also love how when these cars come off of that corner, they find a negative camber. Yeah, yeah. They, they're being th almost thrown to the wall. So right here in this triangle, that's where the banking comes to an abrupt end. So my question is going to be, can the 54 be a B-Main bomber and make it up to the front in the main event? Maybe. Going for the lead right now. The car is hooked up. Looking good. But will that mechanical issue be an issue at all at any more points tonight? They were testing the car out earlier on the back straightaway of the 5 8 mile. And as you can see, got whatever it was fixed. Battle for the lead. Oh, you don't want to lose it right here. Yeah, you don't A flat tire could take you out. It'll definitely ruin your night because you don't have a chance after this one. Look at the lap traffic they're coming up to. These right here. Matt Snyder in the seven has done very good making his car stout. The 42's just been trying to get by. That's Tate in Ireland. And here is your leaders on screen. So right behind them as we go battling again. Well, change for the top spot. How many laps is this race, Jeffrey? 15. We are just nice. past the halfway point. Nice. I didn't hear an update oh, for a while, oh. so I wasn't sure. Oh. Oh. Gonna make it. 42 with the block. <laughs> oh, second place gets hit. And there goes the 49 into the tire barrier and out of a transfer spot unless the car can get moving. I don't know, it's losing grip right now, losing time. The car's rolling, but Tommy, five laps to go. And out of the main event. The 49 got clipped by the seven of Matt Snyder. I thought that car was gonna start tumbling like a rally car. So well, here is the battle here for the <laughs> and, transfer spot. And now we do have a race for the transfer spot. The 20 machine has it, Ted Blakely, but the 57 
Michaela Peterson wants it, but look at the 96. He's in the running too. Zane oh. Gladen's like, move out of my way. Four laps to go. This is gonna be a fun 24 car main event. Oh yeah. After this race, they should just be like, okay, now we're gonna start them all. Yeah. Surprise everybody. The 20 is not safe yet. The 57 all over. That's Peterson chasing down Blakely. And the 96, I think, might be the fastest of all three of them. Two laps to go. I don't think the 49 of Calvin Miller is going to have time to catch him, but the 20 gets sideways. The bobble makes a bobble. Hold on to it. That steam coming out from the 20? Some it's sort something. of a trail. 57 looks to the inside. If they get too aggressive here, that'll help the 49 with a chance of catching up. The 96 to the inside now. White flag waves. There's still two laps for the group that we're watching. One lap to go for your leader. These drivers have not taken the white flag yet. The pink and white 57 is a car trying to get into the show. <laughs> now this is a transfer race. She's gotta Here we get, go. She's got to get by the 20. Oh, 96 is going to lose it. The 54 wins, transfers on. Second place in transferring is Jordan Peterson in the 97. But who will it be through the final corners of the race? Throwing it in hard. The 20 machine of Ted Blakely will hold on and survive for the A main event. Wait, where'd you go? <laughs> Why'd you go that way? The Northwest Hornet Nationals ready to rock and roll on this roll, of course. You saw how the cup drivers did a roll. So now you're going to see the not so cup drivers do the roll. All right. Getting all ready. Hi, Tommy. Hello. How's your uh, walk, your exercise? I uh, called off the second part of it. Okay. Because it's so easy to get down there during their post-race interviews. So I oh, said, yeah. oh. We can do this right before. All right, Jeffrey, here Have we go. Have you gone through the starting lineup? I did not touch you. No, I was trying to, I was busy helping people out. What a goober. Like I am, huh? Yeah. Well, we're wrecking on the back straightaway. Oh, our and it involves one of our fastest cars, yeah. Yeah, the 54 of Brendan Terriel. Here we go. Well, we'll make sure you know who everyone is in this race. We got a long time to do so. 50 laps of Roval Hornet Nationals. Hold on to your hats. Beating and banging, pushing and gouging. So far for the lead, it's a drag race, but everybody getting through cleanly. So far. Up front, Mike Dare. Gonna get past Jake Grant in the number 19 machine. That's nine Dare. Second spot now held by the 18 machine of Cody Hoops. A name that you probably think you keep hearing a lot tonight. 
A busy one. Oh. oh, Hoops almost gets turned. Yep. All right. It's a good one right now, and it's only the first lap. Side-by-side -side battle for the third spot. It involves number 88K of Travis Conan. Conan getting a lot of pressure from behind from the 521. This looks like so much fun. The 521 is Mike Jensen. Good battling up in the top five, just outside of the top five. Trying to chase him down, you recognize this name? 88, Dawson Cox. Oh yeah. So we have two 88 side by side. 88, so it sounds like I said something else. The 15, Cole Reardon is following through by himself. Behind him is the 30 of Pat Folger, 11 C of Carson Sundholm, and the 76 of Jamie Corbett. Or Corbett. Oh, man. <laughs> I love how wide they come off of this oh, corner. Yeah. Well, they actually use it to set up for the next couple of corners. They do. Through the intersection. Corbett now getting a lot of pressure from the 33 machine of Ryan Hassenflug. That's a battle for 10. Just, your leaders. just behind them, the 88R of Brandon Sager, the 4 of Daria Rich, and the 8X of Brandon Nordmeyer. So I got to ask, Jeffrey, you and I have raced in divisions like this. Yes. Are you tire managing right now if you're in the top four on the no. screen, or are you going for the win? I'm probably, now that we're at past the survival of the first three laps, I think right now I'm just I'm just pushing it. I don't know if these tires really are going to wear that bad, and I don't know if I'm going to be around long enough for them to wear that sure. bad. Maybe if I'm up in the top, say, 10, I'm really looking at it, but my goal right now is to not lose touch with the car in front of me, and if possible, get around them. Yeah, absolutely. But All maintain, right. don't lose time. If you can still see the leaders, you I think you still have a chance. So the leaders starting to check out, but here's second, third, fourth. And they are all nose to tail right now. Chance Winding for a position, through. Tommy. And this is the 15th spot, the 54X of Brendan Terrio, who we talked about started last in this race. B Main Bomber. B Main Bomber has damage from before the race even went green. Just got around the 71X of Chris Brannon. Behind them, the 50 of Jason Wilson, the 8 of Luke Heddle, the 83X of Michael Vaughn, the 02 of Great Vaughn, 55 Derek Thomas, and the 97 of Jordan Peterson. Rounding out this whole field, the 20 of Ted Blakely. We only started 23 according to my sheet, which we we're supposed to start 24. So someone else must have had an issue. Missed the call. Maybe uh, missed or the race. The call of the wild. There is trees around here. They could be bears. All right, here's your top. Five now on the screen. And they're all right there. Yeah, they are. So right now, that's where I'm getting the impression that they are kind of playing a little bit of conservation right now. Hopefully not fuel conservation. These are the most mile per gallon treading lightly cars in this race track tonight. <laughs> Yeah, they, they should be all right. Second spot battle. And and there's a lot of this all over the track. The whole the whole track is covered in front wheel drive cars. You're looking right there, the number eight machine of Brandon Nordmeyer. Looking to the inside of the 88R, Brandon Sager. And three And wide. yeah, let's go for it, why not? Lap traffic has become a thing. We're going to pay close attention to that 54. See how I can get up. Now, they just worked past the 20 machine of Ted Blakely. Blakely is one lap down. Like you said, Jeffrey, leaders closing in on lap traffic. You also don't want to go lap down. That's no. another thing you don't, don't want to do. As long as you're on the lead lap, Akasha could come out and kind of just regroup you. But you have to stay on the lead lap. And I just saw a kid get knocked over. 12, and we're racing now. <laughs> well, look at this lap traffic. This is where things are going to get interesting. Maybe battle for second out of that corner. 
the three eights turn two and now into the three eights turn number three. It's the 97 of Jordan Peterson going down a lap. Car that transferred through the B main and we're gonna go three wide. And a move by the 521 almost puts the 18 into the tractor tire. 14 laps into this. How many laps did you say this one was? 50. Holy cow. Some good cash on the line too. $1,000 to win. They said this is one of the biggest Hornet races that they've had in a long time. Well, we are happy to bring it on Low Budget TV oh, yeah. to all of our viewers watching. Let's do it again next year. All right, now so. lap traffic's getting heavy. The Nine Machine has to be careful. Dare now has the 19 right back on his rear bumper of Grant. They just worked past that 55 of Derek Thomas one lap down, but now they have multiple cars to get by. Oh yeah, the Hornets nest, literally. Yep. Hornets high. Oh, watch your brakes. You do not want to get taken out by lap traffic. 19 makes a move to the inside. Grant to the inside of the nine machine. And here comes the 521. Yep. There might not be traffic in this one, but there's definitely momentum involved. Lap traffic's gonna play a part in who takes the lead in this. Watch out, don't ruin your race right here. Smart move by Grant to back it off. He would have ended up, oh, but he gets hit from behind. And now he hits the driver in front of him. And they get to do more. Cox almost gets turned. Man. By the way, they haven't lopped the 0-2 yet. He's like, what yeah. happened to the leaders? <laughs> and they're still duking it out up front. Greg Vaughn about to go a lap down. Watch out right in front of your leaders. The eight gets sideways, and they're three wide for the lead into this turn. Hold on. 19 makes a move to the inside. He takes the lead. That's Grant. I was convinced. Look at this mess. I was convinced it'd be three wide and four wide. We might lose that camera in that corner. They told us we're probably going to. Oh, hold on, Grant, hold on. 521 looks at the inside, almost overcorrected. A great save, and Dawson cuts to second. Where are you going to go, Dawson? Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. <laughs> it's uh, Halloween, isn't it? Oh, no, that's uh, the end of the month. Oh, man, and this is. We'll see what the call is on that. This is where it all kind of can turn upside down if you're up front battling because. Let's lap traffic. They're all slipping and sliding with you. I'm just saying, careful with your choice of words. That things may end up upside down. Oh, up. gotcha. Because I would not be surprised. What a great, I love this track that they have set up. Oh, for this cars. is awesome. Grant right now working his way, trying to. I want to show other people in this race, but damn it, this is such a good battle up front. <laughs> That's the 83 of Vaughn going down to lap. He lets the leaders go. But sometimes, Tommy, you try to be courteous to one set of leaders, you get hit from behind. Yep. I'm not saying that happens to me. I mean, I don't go a lap down in Enduro. Never. Do you? Battle for third. We usually start three laps down. <laughs> Here was the third place battle. Now I can scroll back around. Let's take a look at the 54 out of turn four. Yeah, this driver. As we've talked about, Brendan Terrio has worked his way up to 11th. And he's almost on the same straightaway as your leaders. Do not count that 54 machine out. We aren't yet even halfway. And again, a caution, Tommy, will change a lot of circumstances. More lap traffic oh, in front on. of your leader. Oh, there's a force. Dawson Cox to the inside. Grant on the outside. They race into the 3 8 turn number three. They're no bumpers. They're la Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold think... on, we're not done yet. Oh, my goodness. The 50 machine's going one lap down. Oh. Jason Wilson. Oh. Now they're working on lapping the next car. That's the four of Dario. Oh, problems there, a little bit behind. Am I saying problems too much like Rick Allen? No. Okay, good. Halfway. There's also, I just want to point out, activity in the grandstands. Oh, are we fighting like Orange Show in the grandstands? No, I don't think it's a fight. Is Danny Smith going to fall out of his race car at the end of the 300 lapper? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. 
That's a that's a safer bet. Danny Smith ain't here, so. Yeah, there's the ambulance in the grandstand, so hopefully everything's okay. Yep. There's no red flag, so must be just checking up on something or yep. someone. Oh, oh, jumped and watch out! <laughs> that nine machine just stayed foot to the floor. Now I was watching there. I missed that whole situation. However, I was watching second place sliding towards the tractor tire. If that made you feel any better. Looks like the zero two might be off the pace. Let me see here. Where is that nine? So far, the nine is it nine? Yeah, I'm just saying. Like that car, that got car moved and shoved around, and it's still going. Well, just as fast. I'll tell you this much. That car got a face full of our camera. So something saw that. Zero two is off the pace. Could be our first car officially done that I know of. Greg Vaughn and the eight's going after him. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I just think that car's having an issue too. Now the eight was on the lead lap. That's Nordmeyer. Pit stop. Yeah. Well, Tommy, 22 laps to go. We knew their fuel window was about 600 laps. So I now, I, I'm just going to go on the record, and I hope I don't jinx it, but I'm impressed that it has not. We have yet to have a caution in the series. Yeah, I am too. 521 gets past the lap traffic of the 71X of Chris Brannon. Leaves us with 11 cars on the lead lap, Folger being the last car on the lead lap. The 54X, ninth place. Coming up, just a little too late. Yeah, a couple issues happened in front of the 54, including when the nine almost spun out. And that actually slowed him down in comparison to the leaders. Have you seen those moth memes? Looking for lamps? Yes. This car right here through turns number three and four. The gray car is just too much of a moth for me. <laughs> it's looking for lamps right now. The 2068, I don't know what number that thing is. Locking up the rear tires, too. That's what moths do. Don't squash I, them out. We're going to have a race for the win here. The 88 machine of Dawson Cox has the lead. Mike Jensen in the 521 has not lost touch with the 88, and they're going into a four-car group of lap traffic. I'm going to stay on this end. You've convinced me. I'm persuasive. Oh, Ivan Stewart going a lap down. <laughs> what? Ivan the Iron Man. In that oh. retro Toyota scheme. Uh. More lap driving, sending your leader on the high side, but gets blocked. Dawson Cox got blocked. Car's looking for Matt, for <laughs> lamps. <laughs> the moth. They have a good sense of antennas. Oh. Here you go, your battle for the lead. Here we go. 17 laps to go, a pivotal moment in this race. All these cars are already one lap down. Does that mean they're going to be easy when the leaders get to them? And they'll be like, oh, go ahead. Top two on the screen, first and second. Your leaders. Oh, a little bit of a locking up. 521, losing some time now. going to be a lot of open road ahead of your leaders now. The next car they would catch would be 11th place Pat Folger, the last car on the lead lap. Five, no, 15 to go. 15. Now our uh, Brandon Terriel driver is right now giving a lot of love to the 76 of Corbett. Let's go back here. This, we're slicing a dice. No, battle you know what? Let's go over here. Battle for eighth you're looking at. I like this battle because they are all together. I like that battle too. Oh boy, throwing in there. See a couple cars right here that are lapped down. And <laughs> Ooh, that was close. That could have been a hook bumper right there. Or a bumped hook. Never mind. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> Were you just going to say bumped hooker? No. I said it for you. I don't want anybody to believe. I don't want to spoil anybody. Well, you were just asking. Yeah. All right. 13 laps to go. You said one of your favorite paint schemes of this 97. 
Throwback Toyota paint job. You got me contained. Do I? <laughs> Hang on, I'll fix it. <laughs> I'm good now. <laughs> All right. 54, closing in. It's so much fun watching some of these cars go through. Like this yeah. nine machine just ahead of this pack. Yeah, that's a moment. What do you say we look at our leaders about to go through lap traffic right There now? they go. And do not count out third place. 18 machine of Cody Hoops is on the same straightaway as your leaders. And if the lap traffic does what it's doing. Bumper, oh! bumper, bumper. 521, Jensen sees an opportunity. 10 laps to go. The pressure is on. You're talking about third. Here he comes. 18 now dealing with the same lap traffic your leaders did. Slice and dice. Oh man, your leaders are locked together right now. They're closing on the number four machine. Ooh, and that, what a move there. Smoking. Smoke. 521 just getting held up by the four. Breaks up that gap just a little bit more. Nine, make it eight to go at the stripe before we get into our main event after this one. 150 laps of outlaw figure eight racing. Oh yeah. Coming up next. It's getting wild down the back straight as well as we continue to keep an eye on our leaders. The oh, 54 yeah. machine has gotten around the nine. Terrio up to seventh. Still on the lead lap after starting last and wrecking his car before the green. Oh! I, I, I wasn't sure if you guys were convinced I was falling off a cliff. I thought you were uh, singing the immigrant song. <laughs> Only in California. All right, Jeffrey, let's get a leader update. Oh, uh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. They've caught the 11th place, I'm Pat watching, Folger. I'm watching this one. You watch that, but Tommy Folger is holding up your leaders. Where are the leaders at? Over backstretch. Right there. That's part of waking up. Leaders on your uh, uh, tail. Uh, on the grass is your leader, Dawson Cox. Oh, This is good. It's been good from the start. Yep. And it's going all the way to the checkered. Five laps to go. Something is happening in the grandstands. Now we've got two ambulances. Yeah. And again, Dawson Crox opening up a bit of a lead. However, back behind lap traffic. Yep, four laps to go. Oh, in trouble in front of third place. That's Folger who went around. Oh, that coffee's ready. Smoking. Smoking Joe. But Jensen needs to have a set of three perfect laps. And that's just to get back to the bumper of Dawson Cox, who's led the majority, I think, of this race. Three to go. But this is also where drivers are going to be pushing hard for those last bits. Raise your hand, folks. Two. If you would love to run this race, I, my hand would be raised. <laughs> and I honestly can't see your results because two laps to go. You're not Five lap cars in front of Dawson Cox, your leader. Cox needs to work his way through this traffic methodically. He has to be careful. He needs to slice through it. He has a little bit of contact, but he went for it. And that might have been all it took to get away from Jensen. I think it is. I think so. I think the so. final turns. 50 laps of Hornet racing on the Roval. And your winner is the 88 machine of Dawson Cox. And 50 laps, no 
yellows. Unbelievable. I would have never guessed. I honestly would have never guessed that one. Here's your winner. Showing off over here. Nice <laughs> burnout, donut, slip and slide. Evergreen style. In third place tonight, the 18 car, Cody Hoop. Cody, not bad to take a uh, second place in the Stingers and a third place in the Hornets. Not bad at all. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, there was a lot of talent out there. I'm really surprised I'm up here, but it was a good race and uh, I'm really happy to be up here. What do you want to think? I want to thank John Bender for helping me with the car, letting me have the car to race for tonight, side of my car. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Peter and Patterson for all the help in the pits. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming out, you guys. All right, right there. Third place, Cody Hoops. Second place tonight, Mike Jensen. Mike, second place. That was probably one of the best Hornet races we've seen all year long. Talk about it. Dude, I, did we even go yellow? I don't remember. I don't think so. That was awesome. That made uh, something to be said for the guy starting up front. Clean, we're not having to drive to the last traffic, but yeah, it worked good. Who do you want to thank? Uh, JVR, Mike Jennifer, and Yam on the tier, and uh, all the Patterson brothers. All right, second place, Northwest Hornet Nationals, Mike Jensen. And your winner tonight to the Northwest Hornet Nationals, the Indian car. Dawson Cox! Dawson, we seem like really good friends. I've talked to you three times in like an hour. Yeah, pretty much. When we talked last time, you didn't think this might not happen, but that was one of the best Hornet races we've seen in a while. That whole entire race, you had Mike Jensen right there on that back bumper. That car was bad fast. I, I just got lucky in traffic to get out in front. Um, some people might not say lucky, but I made my own luck in a couple spots. Um, people weren't happy, but they couldn't be like that many times. Just turn the baby. Um, but we got we got up front. I just smashed. I knew I had to run, so I got my traffic. I was a little impatient, made a couple of mistakes. 
bounce off the people I didn't really mean to, and I apologize. I'm just trying to have fun racing, good food racing. But I gotta thank my sponsors, uh, Two and a Half Minute Barbecue, uh, Ricky Gear Motorsports, obviously my dad gave me that one, that would be a setup car. Um, I just drive the engines. Um, and the guy whose car was, my other boss, the only bar boss, and he said, so you want a thousand dollars for the Hornet race, five hundred dollars for the Stinger race. Who gets the money? You or Mike? I'm really not sure there. Oh, I get it. Mike says he gets all the money. Wow! Congratulations. What are you gonna do with fifteen hundred dollars? Dave, where are you gonna date? Well, we're going somewhere fine wine and dining. We're going to the Fall Classic tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah. He's going to the Fall Classic tomorrow. All right, there you go, Dawson Cox. You're winning the Northwest Hornet Nationals. All right, folks, if you were here, you'd hear what's rumbling in the background. The Outlaws. 150 laps of Outlaw figure eight racing Are coming up next. The, the inaugural Evergreen Speedway, Evergreen Cup coming up next. Are you ready for the $5,000, 150 laps? 300 times to the most dangerous intersection on the planet. It is time. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been waiting all year for this. The last race of the year for the 2018 Evergreen Speedway Race Season. 